Hello everybody and welcome back to another Hacker Tools video. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at FFUF and we're going to look at fuzzing for beginners. So let's jump straight into it. What is fuzzing? Well, fuzzing is an automated process where we send data to a server and we see how it reacts. For example, we could have an API and we want to find different endpoints on that API that we can test. Uh, we can try to send a request saying, okay, api.integrity.com slash users. How is integrity.com going to react to that? It can either react in, for example, a 404 saying, hey, I did not find that. And then we know, okay, that's not a valid endpoint but it could also react in a 200 status code saying, hey, the user ID is not found in this case. And then you know, okay, that endpoints exist and I um, can start looking into that endpoint more. So uh, fuzzing is that automated process where we run through a whole word list with all kinds of words and we try to find endpoints, but also v hosts at the beginning of a URL, but you can even try to first post the data or anything you can really imagine. And now a very popular tool for fuzzing is FFUF, standing for Fuzz Faster You Fool. Now FFUF was created by the Finnish hacker Juhoi and we are gonna take a look at how it works right now. So let's jump into this and let's take a look at a simple FFUF scan. So we're gonna start off by typing of course FFUF and then we're gonna supply a word list. Now this is a word list containing all the different words or uh, things it's gonna try to find. Uh, I like to use Seclists for this, which is a great compilation of all kinds of word lists, and I have stored this Git repository in slash opt slash Seclists. I'm then gonna look at discovery because I want to discover things and I want to discover some web content. Now there's a ton of web content in here as you can see, uh, but I like to use the raft and then let's use small directories in this case. Okay, with our word list set, we can use dash u to supply a URL. Now I'm gonna supply https slash slash www.integrity.com slash. And now I wanna first endpoints that, are, that come after these, this URL. So I'm gonna type in capital letters slash first. And that is how you define the place where FF is going to place your words in the word lists. So FF is gonna send a ton of HTTP requests with this URL always replacing fuzz by the word in our word list. And if I run this, we will see that we get a ton of requests here and they all have the same size, the same status of 200, the same amount of words and lines. And this probably means that the integrity, uh, the backend server or the server here send, sends a 200 status code even if it's not found. Because for example, PHP underscore uploads, baskets, email templates, those are probably not real endpoints here. So what we can do now is we can filter out all the requests with this specific size. And to do that, we're gonna go to our original request again, and I'm gonna do dash F for filter and then S for size. So we're gonna filter things out based on size and I have to scroll up a bit to see the size here. That was 22 and 9663, 9663. Okay, and now we can run that again and we see that we get some different results with different sizes and things that make way more sense for integrity, such as uh, programs, obviously. Um, so, okay, that's cool. I'm gonna quit this scan now uh, to us to not overload the server, of course. Uh, right now we looked at this simple command that first endpoints. We can obviously also first vhosts or uh, post data and I'm gonna explain all of that and all these flags and how they work in a bit. But you can obviously also run ffuff-h for the help and that will bring up all of the different options. But I'm gonna explore some with you here in the next section here. And let's look at some of these options. First of all, we're gonna talk about some post request options because it's obviously very useful to uh, try to fuzz in post requests that can lead to IDORs to all kinds of interesting things in APIs, for example. First of all, we're gonna look at the dash capital X and that is uh, a means for you to supply an HTTP method. So the default is get, but you can also say post there and then the server or FF is gonna send post requests to the server. 
then you can also supply dash capital uh, dash lowercase d rather and that is to supply some post data which is your J json data or any other kind of data and this data can obviously include your first keyword which is going to be used to replace uh, to put the things from your word list the words from your word list in so very useful if you want to fuzz out post requests uh, besides that, you also have some what I like to call bug bounty options. These are options that you can use to adhere to the rules of a program. Uh, things like dash T for the amount of threads that are being used and dash rate for the rate of requests per second. Because obviously you don't want to overload a program with re requests because you can imagine if 100 researchers start doing that, it will become very cumbersome for the program. So adhere to the rules. Um, but besides that, you can also set the dash capital H option to supply a header value. This is going to uh, have a header injected in every request. And the dash lowercase b option can be used to set some cookies. Um, so say cookie name equals value. And that's it for the bug bounty options. Now let's take a look at some recursion and redirects. Now, first of all, with dash recursion, you can say, OK, scan this recursively. This is only going to work if your first word is at the end of the URL, so if you're fuzzing for directories or files. And what FF is going to do is, once it finds a valid or a working endpoint, it's going to add another slash to that and add another first keyword to that. And it's going to try to fuzz that whole directory again. Then you can say, okay, if, it's if it finds something there again, it's going to do the same again. And that way you can keep on recursively fuzzing into directories so that you found, find every file that there is to be found on that server. With dash recursion dash depth, you can then set the depth that is going to be taken. So if you only want to go into two directories and not into infinite amount of directories, you can set the recursion depth to two. Uh, then we can also talk about redirects. And with dash R, you can say that it's going to follow redirects. This can be very useful because obviously you are going to get 301 status codes back. Uh, 301 meaning redirect to a specific page and with this option it's going to actually follow that redirect so that you, you can see what it uh, goes to. But that's it for recursion and redirects. Now let's talk about matcher options. Now what are these? These are options that are going to say okay if the answer that we get back so the response for a specific re request if it matches one of these it's going to be shown. So for example with dash mc we can match status codes. So for example, if we get a 200 bex, show it. Uh, and by default, you have 200, 204, 301, and so on, all of these codes that are already being matched. Um, besides that, you can also say dash ML, and that's gonna say, okay, if, if this amount, these amount of lines that you supply, so if you say, okay, 13 lines, if the server, if the FF gets a request back from the server that contains 13 lines, then it's gonna show that entry in your list. You can also use regex with dash M, R, uh, the response size with dash M S and then the amount of words in the response with dash M W. Now that is matching, but we can also filter out specific uh, entries. And for example, you can filter out status quotes with dash F C. Uh, if you say dash F C 200, it will not show you any responses that have the status code 200. You can do dash F L for lines dash F R to filter out uh, uh, based on specific regex and dash fs, the one we used in the video uh, to filter out specific response sizes, as well as dash fw to filter out uh, by the amount of words in a response. Now those were all the basic options that ff has to offer. Now there are more, you can get really, really uh, granular with this tool. So definitely check out the help, help page and the GitHub. But that's all for now. I hope FF is going to be your new tool of choice for fuzzing out uh, your targets and making sure that you found every endpoint fee host uh, post data item that you just found, find everything and can test everything on a specific endpoint. Now, I hope you enjoyed this, enjoyed this video. Let us know what you think of it below in the comments. Like it if you like the video. And also, if you have any suggestions for tools that you would like to see us cover in the future, then definitely comment those below as well. That was it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and take care.